Hey guys, Dave Kincaid with Able Cine here. Today we're going to be talking about the exoskeleton system from Exos. We did a blog um, at NAB on this and we did a little bit of a kind of introduction to the product. Today I want to show you guys how to take it out of the box, put it together, you know, how to assemble it, and then also some of the kind of unique features of it. So let's, let's start with assembly. And when you, you know, when you first get out of the box, one thing you want to do is you want to put together the arms first. That's where I would start personally. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist the tensioner on the very, very top. I'm going to turn this to the left. And I'm just going to lower this, um, this assembly all the way to the bottom of its channel. And that gives me all this extension. You can see I have access to the spring because the spring we're actually going to lock in to the, to the arm here in just a second. First thing I'll do is I'll take this collar. I want to put the side with the two grooves toward the vest. So I want to be going this direction. You notice it has these two little, um, these two little grooves itself. Um, as I slide it on, you know, I feel it click into place. It locks into those two grooves right there. So the next thing I'm going to do, once I've got this locked into place, you know, it is in the groove. I've got it, I've got it locked in. It's not going to rotate side to side. What I want to do is, is I want to just raise this assembly all the way up like this. You see it exposes the spring. And what that's going to do is it's going to line up with this hole in the actual, in the actual arm itself. So I'm going to slide this on. And I'm going to wait for it to find its home position going to lock in just about up here. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my bolt and I'm going to put it through here, catching the actual eye bolt part of the spring as well. So you're going to go through the eye bolt part of the spring and just make sure that this bolt actually locks into the spring itself. You'll be able to know that you've got it because you'll feel tension as soon as you lock the other side down with the, um, with the nut on the other side. Um, I'll feel some of the tension of the spring as I pull down on the arm just a little bit. So I know that I've got the actual spring locked into place, the bolt is through it, and then what I have to do then is I just have to tighten these guys down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two four millimeter Allen keys, just like so, and I'm just going to take these guys and I'm just going to lock this into place. Just make sure that it's tight, just like that, and just make sure it's good and snug. And then I feel, you know, still tension, it's still locked into place, it's not going anywhere. And then what I can do too, as well, I can go back to the collar and I can take um, my Allen keys as well. I can lock down these, um, little, uh, these little set screws as well. So the next thing, guys, is to attach the dock or the uh, part where you're going to be, you know, um, bolting the arm down, you know, locking it into place here for transporting it, for getting it on and off the stand, that kind of stuff. You have a couple of pieces here, so you have your, um, you have your um, fastener for the, for the um, vest itself, you have a bolt, and you have a bushing. So to install the dock, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this screw and washer assembly, and I'm just going to go through this hole to start out with. I'm going to take my, um, my strap um, lock itself, you know, the fastener itself. I'm going to go through there. This has washers as well. I'm just going to keep it in that position. I'm going to take my bushing. I'm going to go over this. I'm just going to keep that position. And I'm going to take the actual dock itself. And then I'm just going to thread this on, make sure it starts, you know, it threads nicely and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then I'm just going to, you know, turn it make it finger tight for now and then I'm going to lock it down with a four millimeter Allen key again. And the kind of final position of it once I lock it down is really going to be like this. That, the thing that I would do now is I would just want to make this nice and snug you know, using an Allen key. So I'm just going to keep the position of it, make sure that it stays there and just lock this down like so. And there you have it, locked into place, in correct position, all done. Okay guys, so the last thing we're going to do, we've got the arms docked now, I've got them securely in place. Um, I have some tension on this, so I just want to make sure they're locked into place. Um, we're going to put the final stage, the finishing touches, on the exos. So we're going to take this, um, these belt accessories, I have all these, you know, I have all these different um, holes for sizing it to the size person who's, who is going to be operating it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lock these in to these two, um, to these two clamps over here on the side. So to install the, the side you know, panels of the vest itself, you're just going to take these two toggles here, are going to lock right into these positions, and they go into this groove right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these guys and just you know, get the top one locked in, get the bottom one locked in. I want key point is I want to see a little bit of this hole just showing. That means that it's actually seated into that groove. It's made to correct contact, and then I just tighten these down. Obviously, I'm going to size this differently for different size people that might be operating. 
And these don't have to be you know, ridiculously tight. You just want to get them you know, nice and snug. And I've got it done. I've got one side in, and I just do the other side the exact same way, and I'm good to go. So now there you have it. We have the exos put together. We have it all assembled, and we're ready to you know, get into it and start operating. Um, really appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you next time. Thanks.